everyone, and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne. I'm a certified RV inspector. And today we're going to be talking about the best portable generators for your 30 amp RV. Now, if you're always plugged into shore power at a campground, honestly, you may not even need a generator at all. You might just have it as a backup in case there's a power outage. But if you like to boondock at all in your 30 amp RV, well, then having a portable generator can be very handy and very much appreciated. And this is true even if you have solar power on your RV. And that's because you can go days sometimes without the sun, cloudy days, and the solar power system can't keep up. And that's where having a generator can be very helpful. But what does a generator do for your 30 amp RV? In fact, what is a 30 amp RV? What does it mean? Well, I made a video a while back on 30 amp RV services and 50 amp RV electrical services. It, it explains the differences between them and there's a lot of information there that many experienced RVers don't really understand. So it'd be a good idea to watch the video. I'll put a link to it in both the description of this video and the podcast so you can watch it. But for our discussion today, let's just simply say that a 30 amp RV can handle 3,600 watts of simultaneous power being drawn. And the biggest draw is the air conditioner in most 30 amp RVs. It takes a lot of power to get up and run initially, but then it runs on a continuous 1,800 to 2,000 watts of power in some cases. That's a huge chunk of your 3,600 watts of available power. It's also why most 30 amp RVs that you see only have one air conditioner. If you had two, it could easily overrun the system. So the generators I'm going to talk about today have a 30 amp plug so that you can plug the cord from your RV right into the generator and it will provide at least 80% and in some cases more of the power you'd get if you hooked up to a campsite power pole. In fact, these generators are going to have an output somewhere between 3,000 and 3,400 watts of continuous power. And that's going to power most of the electrical needs you'll have, including your air conditioner. But here's the drawback. These generators are not lightweight at all. Most of them are going to weigh around 100 pounds. So you're going to need to find a place to put the generator in your rig. A lot of people put it in the tow vehicle or tow truck's bed, and that works well. Wherever you put it, it has to have good ventilation. Most of these generators are also gasoline powered. So very often it means you've got to take another power source with you, gasoline, in an appropriate container. And you're going to need to refill the generator. Its tank is going to go empty, so you have to refill it from time to time. One last point. These generators are what are called inverter generators. Now, what that means is that they are the quietest generators that you can buy. And that's really important to your RVing neighbors. I never recommend getting a construction type of generator. You know, the ones that are on a frame. They are very loud, they are very obnoxious, and you're going to make enemies very quickly if there's any other RVers anywhere nearby. So all the ones I'm going to show you today are inverter generators designed to be as quiet as possible. So let's go over my list now for 30 amp RV generators. All the links to each one that I'm going to cover will be in the description of the video and the podcast, so you can look them up and get more information and see what you think. Let's start off with number one. That's Honda. 
and the EU3000IS. Honda's on this list because they are just well known in the RVing community for great quality and great reliability. However, this particular generator is the heaviest in the list at 130 pounds. It puts out 3,000 watts of continuous power, and that's good. Its noise level is around 57 decibels. What that means is that it's generally around the same sound you might get when two people are having a conversation. So it's not bad at all, but the price is significant. It comes in at $3,000. So you really pay for the quality and reliability. Next up on our list is the Champion 4,500 watt generator. Yes, it's 4,500 watts peak power, but it runs continuously at only 3,150. It's a little noisier at 61 decibels, but that's really hardly noticeable, honestly. It's the lightest generator in the bunch at 95 pounds, but here is its claim to fame. It is a dual fuel generator. What that means is you can run it not only on gasoline like the others, but you can actually run this generator on propane. So you may not even need to bring another power source with you. You can just run it on the propane that's in your RV tanks. And a lot of people like that. The cost is right around $1,000. Next up on my list is the Wynn 3800 watt generator. Yes, 3800 watts, peak power, but it runs continuously at 3400 watts. And it comes in right around 100 pounds. It's quiet. It's 57 decibels, about the same as all the others in this list. And it's the least expensive generator on my list at only $730. That's a real deal. Next up is the Generac IQ 3500 watt generator. Yes, 3500 watts peak power, but 3000 continuous running. It weighs in at 109 pounds. They don't give you any decibel figure at all from Generac. I don't know why, but all they will say in their promotional material is that it's quieter than a Honda. Well, what criteria they used for that, I have no idea, but it is well known for being quiet. And the cost is right around $1,000. Last up on my list is a generator that comes from Harbor Freight. Now, Harbor Freight has made generators for a few years now, their Predator line, and actually RVers kind of like them. There's a lot of them that really enjoy using them. So the Predator 3500 watt generator is 3500 watts peak and 3000 watts continuous running power. It comes in at 102 pounds, it's quiet at 56 decibels, and it's very affordable at only $800. So there's my list of generators. I think you can really find something you need in there somewhere. Let me mention this too. I, I said before that these all have a 30 amp RV plug for you to plug your electric cord in from your RV, and that's true. But some have the actual RV plug to plug in, Others, you're going to need a little small adapter. It's very cheap, the one you see here on the screen. And uh, you just put the adapter on the generator and then plug the cord directly into the adapter. And either way, you can plug right into the generator. Well, I'm very confident that overall, with this list I've given you today, that you can find a generator on this list that's going to work for your 30 amp RV needs and it will fit not only your needs, but also your budget. And that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.